Preeclampsia is a serious medical condition associated with pregnancy, and in the last two decades, we have seen a 25% increase in the number of cases. Genetics may play a factor. Research has shown that if you have a first degree relative who's had it, then your chances are two to four full times higher than someone who doesn't have a first degree relative with a history of preeclampsia. Weight before getting pregnant also plays a factor. Research has shown that women who have a body mass index of 26 or higher before getting pregnant have a higher chance of developing preeclampsia, and so do women with chronic hypertension. So genetics can't be modified, but your weight and your blood pressure can. And so if you are overweight or if your blood pressure is high, talk with your doctor before conceiving and do what you can to get those things under control so that you and your baby can be optimally healthy during the pregnancy. Of course, there are women who just randomly get preeclampsia and they don't have any risk factors. In fact, this happens frequently. There isn't really anything that we can peg it down to. Um, and if a woman's had preeclampsia in the past, then the natural question is, is it going to happen again? And really, it depends on how severe your case was and how early on it happened. Overall, a woman who's had preeclampsia in the past has a seven-fold higher chance of developing it. But if you had an early case of it, like if it started to develop in the second trimester and it was severe, then you have a 20 to 65% chance of developing it again. But if it started to develop later on in the pregnancy and it was more mild, then your chances, according to research, are only about five to 7% of developing it again. Ultimately, Again, it's a good idea to talk with your doctor before getting pregnant to make sure there aren't any factors that can be modified before conceiving to make sure that you're optimally healthy going into the pregnancy. And once you do get pregnant, then of course you'll be on your doctor's radar and they'll watch you very closely. They'll watch your blood pressure throughout the entire pregnancy and they'll probably want to get baseline labs to know what you're at when you first get pregnant so that they can compare those results to what you are later on if they're wondering if you're developing it again. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.